Hi, this is Sheila Volk, and I'm introducing you to my new Fantasy Unleashed adult coloring book. This came out this past month, and it's my total have fun creativity with fantasy creatures and more. And it's a lot of fun. They are a little bit simpler than my other three books that are out now. Those are very complex um, uh, pages to color in, but a lot of people like that too. And this is Box of Moon, and then I have another one just like her called the Box of Sun later. Here's Chariot, my newest figurine that came out. So cute with all the animals. See? So, this is a very precious little piece. Fun to color in, for that's for sure. All right, let's get to it. There's two pages of each in case you want to share or do two different kinds of colorings. This is Mer Berther, now a new figurine. But it, it turned out so pretty, I wanted to do a drawing and put it in a coloring book. And this is how mermaids have their babies. The seahorse brings it to them. Okay, you all know the garland if you know my artwork. But I simplified this. So enjoy, enjoy. Uh, just a note to my friends in the internet world, I do not allow tattoos. So don't even think of taking my drawings and make them into tattoos. If you're found, you will be sued. I hate to put it that way, but it goes against everything I stand for, and I hope you can respect that. I love tats, but I just don't want my tats shriveling up in a grave <laughs> someday. Sounds morose, but think about it. These are my babies. Anyway, here's a cute little one called Nap Time. It's a little baby boy mermaid that found his little shelter to take a nap. Here's the other one, the Box of Sun. Gee, I hope I didn't sound rude when it came to tats. Like I said, I love tats, just not my artwork as tats. Now, a lot of people do them, and I really refrain from doing coloring books. You all know this lore from a very well-known figurine. You all love it so much, I made it into a page in the coloring book. Uh, a lot of people love tats, and they come to me thinking, I don't know what I'm talking about, and they show me the tats of my art. Well, in reality, that's copyright infringement. Uh, I take my artwork very seriously like they're my babies. They are my ownership, and everything is copyrighted, and it says it throughout the book. Peacock Princess. Pretty, yeah? That would be a fun one to color. Here's the cover of the book, right? My bash fly. <laughs> Hmm. Lizard or chameleon, whichever you prefer. This is fun and it's new, never been seen before. Hmm. This is cunning and coy. You like? <laughs> what a duet, right? Let me show you a little closer instead of fooling around with the camera. Guess which one is cunning, guess which one is coy. It's labeled on the bottom. You'll find out later when you get the book. Here's another piggy. Very, a very pretty piggy. Well, the world belongs to this piggy. <laughs> I gave you a little background to color in, too. I mean, she's spreading out for joy. I've been putting this up in Facebook. I've been coloring this one and playing with the background. This is my fairy frog man. You can see I, do, I mix a lot of creatures with the human. Why not? I mean, it's fantasy, right? <laughs> okay, moving on. Trying to make this a little bit shorter. This is new. Nobody's seen this one. It's called Tucked In. She's all tucked in, taking a little nap. A little fairy. Hmm. It's a hot day today. I hope I don't sweat on the camera or the coloring book. Here is my bubble and toys. I have this as a print. It's cute with a little border, yeah? My, I have another one of this one, a little blown up, and the border's taken out. So you can have fun coloring uh, it a little bit bigger. Yes, I put in, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's the other one. Like I said, I have two pages of each in case you want to share or do two different colors. Or if you make a mistake, um, it's my unicorn with a field of butterflies. Those are butterflies. Simplified. I used to be part owner of a restaurant called The Coldy Cow here in New York. Hmm. And I designed the whole restaurant and the ladies room had this <laughs> this cow <laughs> with red high heels. But in the coloring book, 
He's got the cowhide boots, but you could color them red if you want to to make it into a little girl cow. It's up to you. Yeah, it's fun, right? These are all flowers going into the stars. One of my figurines, I did a whole harpy series a year ago. It's called the, this one is the Enchanted Harpy. These, uh, like I said, is a figurine. Here's Sleepy Toes. Very simple for you to have fun with. You could actually make her different colors, too. You could put her whole body in stars if you want. New piece, very complicated to draw. Hmm. It's called the Incubator, and this is uh, the little nursery for the fairy in a um, red lantern flower, and it's just the cocoon of it. And then uh, when the baby is grown, the fairy, she just opens up the door, lifts the hatch, and she flies out. That's the incubator. This is a very challenging piece because of all the little nooks and crannies. Okay, we're getting towards the end. The playpen. These are rainbow fish or harlequin fish. Fun. They're in blues and purples and greens and white. Great fish. You can find it in Google. I even put little seahorse with wings. Little fairies with in with the uh, mer baby, the playpen. These are other figurines I did in the Harpy series. This is the Fallen. Yeah, sorry about moving the book around, but it's just a quick flip book for you to see. And this is grounded. I do, you know, chance upon little birds that have fallen to their demise in Manhattan and always wonder what their story was. Okay, here's the, the piggy I've been showing up on my Facebook page, coloring it in in all bright colors. This one's called a very comfy hug me piggy. <laughs> it's when you have your hug yourself and you're feeling blue or just need a hug. Yeah, here's the uh, blow up of the uh, toys without all the border. In case you like it without the borders, a little mermaid inside. I like this little wind up chicken. And of course, the little toys on the side. Okay, Sheila, let's hurry, hurry. Second page, and here's the last one. I, I usually put this in everything because it's the piece I just now finished called Pan's Pen. And he's everywhere. And there's a little mouse down here. In my painting, that mouse is blue. <laughs> anyway, that's it. A few pages in the back to test your colors. Here's the cover. Here's the side in a nice, pretty blue. Here's the back show some of the other books and if you give me one second here was two months ago I came out with the angel book and then before that is the mermaid book and the first one I came out with is the fairy book they're all color-coded spines Oops, I think I just moved so if it's sitting in a shelf, you know which one to pull by color. No titles on the spines. Thank you for visiting, and now I'm going to get this up on the Internet. Find me on YouTube. All the other books are flipped out in there. Thanks for sharing and, and watching. Bye.